a $50,000 XRP price? Well, Valho Capital predicts it. This is actually an older clip, but for the newer people that are just joining into the XRP community, you need to see this. Plus, I have some new stuff from Crypto Erie that you have to read. I'll go through this with you, but I think she's laying out the groundwork for what's about to come, and it is gigantic. Let's play this. Global tax deals happening. We got global deals on principles for how they're going to you know, interact among each other with central bank digital currencies, and people really believe they couldn't come up with a price set yeah. for XRP? That's like not yeah. even hard to think There's of. There's no logic there. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. Same. yeah. It, so if, if they do that, we believe the value would be higher than it was in September and October of 2021 when we were throwing out yeah. 25,000, 37.5 coin. It's so it would be a higher price a than higher, previous probably prediction. Probably in the 50,000 now, I would think. I put the numbers down, but I'm just thinking about all the, the additional trillions of dollars that got pumped in uh, to the economy. The debt, yes. The, the, the fact, you know, the, the Fed right now is really our, the only participant in our economy. Yeah, They're makes basically sense. issuing all the money that's going into the, the big banks, and then the Commercials. big banks are selling, and the hedge funds are selling their crap fucking debt. Yeah. Sorry, can I yeah. cancel this? Yeah, absolutely. Go ahead. They're please. selling their crap <laughs> debt the back to the Fed, and the balance sheet's going parabolic. Guys, if you owned 20,000 XRP and it did go to 50,000, you would be a billionaire. Just just giving you those numbers here. I wanted to show you this is really quickly. In Korea, you can already buy things with XRP. <laughs> Why do you need banks when you can control your own money, right? Greg Kidd, early investor in Ripple and Uphold and former chief risk officer at Ripple joins the campaign trail to support Kamala Harris. Waltz and Kidd on the campaign trail to start his politics, including flipping a safe district by putting people in the state in the country ahead of itself. A lot of people coming out and supporting Waltz and, uh, and Harris. Let me just show you this asset class here though, right? Bitcoin is just at a trillion. But look at this, gold 17 trillion, art is 18 trillion, stocks is 110 trillion, fiat is 120 trillion, global debt is 315 trillion, real estate is 330 trillion, derivatives is a trillions of dollars, right? We also have, you know, different equities markets. I mean, there's so much money that can be tokenized, that will be tokenized, right? Will be tokenized on Bitcoin. It'll be tokenized on something like XRP and Stellar and, and maybe maybe even Quant or something like that, right? Those are going to be the true winners at the end of the day here. But let's see what's, what Crypto Erie puts here. So she says, what does Project PAX mean for XRP? All right. So she says, C number three for sure. This is Swift Integrated Cross-Border Payment Solution for Stablecoins. Planned to be commercialized by 2025, Hyperledger Lab and Data Chain for Program. program Progmat. Progmat stablecoin backed by SBI Group and Japan's Exchange Group and hooking up with Swift's API to keep things smooth and cut costs. The mention of inter blockchain communication or IBC protocol in the stack suggests a focus on the blockchain interoperability, the XRP ledger, especially with the EVM sidechain, could potentially connect and communicate via IBC, allowing for transactions or data flow between the XRP ledger and other blockchains supported by Project PAX. If the XRP ledger were to integrate with or be supported by middleware like LCP, it, it could facilitate smoother interactions across different blockchains environments. This middleware could handle the complexities of cross-chain transactions, making XRP Ledger's assets and functionalities accessible within broader ecosystem of project packs. Liquidity pools by Toki. Toki's role is providing liquidity pools could be crucial for the XRP Ledger. If XRP or tokenized assets on the XRP Ledger need to be exchanged or used for cross border transactions having a liquidity pool could ensure that there's enough liquidity for those operations Four, the mention of adapting to swift's api for banks to instruct blockchain settlements aligns with the xrp ledger's uh, potential use case the xrpl could be part of the setup where banks or financial institutions use familiar interfaces to initiate transactions and settle on the xrp ledger or involve XRP, leveraging its fast transaction times and low costs. Given that Project PAX aims for regulatory compliance, the XRP Ledger's approach for compliance, especially in regions like Japan and its stablecoin regulations, could make it fitting is a fitting component. 
This compliance aspect ensures that transactions involving the XRP ledger could legally be recognized and utilized in the real economy. Boom. Thank you, Crypto Eerie, for breaking that all down. You are a beautiful person. This video is brought to you by Margex. You can actually deposit all kinds of different crypto assets and use those crypto assets to trade futures and derivatives up to 100x leverage, which is pretty insane. Different payment options are available. MasterCard, Visa, Google Pay, Apple Pay, and 152 others. You can register now to get up to $10,000 in bonuses i will leave my link down in the description where you can use it if you deposit up to a hundred dollars you will get fifty dollars back for free as well as you can use 50 percent of the bonuses to pay for your fees on the exchange looking forward to seeing how you do here you can also do copy trading if your skills are still developing and you want to follow some really good traders they have a whole platform that is dedicated to copy trading as well as if you're wanting to learn how to do all of this stuff there are definitely some places on MarkX site that you can learn how to do all of these different things. Thank you so much for watching. Let's get back to the video. Former Goldman Sachs executive says central banks are dragging the dollar just long enough to bring in the new system. So check this out. For many decades, the dollar has been the reserve currency and the system is what I would describe as long in the tooth. And the central bankers are trying to bring in a new system but it's not ready to go yet. And what we're, what we're in a period of great change and uncertainty where the central bankers are trying to keep the dollar system going and accelerate. So they're trying to lengthen the dollar system and then they're trying to accelerate bringing in the new system. Mm. So I describe the new system as the end of currencies. So it's we're not bringing in a new currency. We're essentially bringing in a new transaction system that will be all digital and essentially end currencies as we know them. So. What they're trying to do is involves essentially all the money on the planet. So it's big, it's complicated, it's messy. And all the money on the planet, if that's how somehow got transacted on the XRP ledger, we would all have the rest of our lives changed forever. And I think that's what we're trying to do here at Crypto is bet on the right technology. And if we're right, well, tell me where your party's at because I'll be on your yacht. Playa? <laughs> Let me play this. So you would welcome an XRP ETF then? We would certainly welcome it. And I think it's inevitable that there'll be, you know, multiple ETFs around different tokens. And I think you'll even see ETFs potentially around baskets that also, I think, further diversify that risk. Are you in talks with the largest issuers, particularly BlackRock, to get this done? Well, I'm not going to comment on that. I know BlackRock has said some things publicly. You know, we think it makes sense for the XRP community overall. Uh, you know, Ripple obviously is a very important stakeholder in the XRP ecosystem system but we're not the only player and look we, we've seen I mean before the SEC lawsuit XRP was the second most valuable digital asset I think because of the headwinds of that lawsuit you know we've now seen that largely abate but the long-term view on these things is about you know how do you create utility and really solve real-world problems with these different digital assets so you listen Bitcoin is an asset that people are going to hold and they're going to want to use right but at the end of the day XRP has this true utility. You bring smart contract functionality to the XRP ledger, right? You tokenize all of this value. You tokenize the debt. You tokenize real estate, tokenize derivatives. You tokenize stocks, bonds, right? You bring it all on to ledgers like the XRP ledger. And we're all, we're all billionaires like that. That that's the end of it. That's, that's what we're trying to do here. Okay. Or this could all, all blow up, but the current debt system, right? A current world debt is spiraling out of control all right and if you don't understand that man i hate using freaking i hate using what's it called the world debt clock let me see here if you don't understand this that the current debt is spiraling out of control there's no there's no fix for this 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 kit this this would take you know decades and decades and decades to pay back they're gonna to have to reset this somehow. And the only way you're gonna be able to do that is with digital assets. It's coming, it's coming. When is it coming? Well, that's the true question, my friends. I hope you're following, trying to get to 30,000 by my birthday on the 13th. Please like, share, follow. I love you, peace, aloha. My heart goes with you.